I was watching some videos until I saw this. Wow, this is rough. So is digital art the real art? Let's figure that out. 3D printing opens up a new world of possibilities for creating characters and bring them to life. To start, you will need to use a 3D design software to create your characters. Of course, there are many options available. In my case, Blender is the best software ever that you can use. So let's jump into Blender to start. As you see, we're gonna start from a sphere. For now, it's very important to keep the mesh low as possible. It doesn't matter if it looks messy in the moment. The two important brushes that we can use in the moment are the grab brush and the crease brush. Of course, it will be awesome if we can switch between them using shortcuts. The shortcut for the grab brush is G. Also, it's good to mention guys that I'm using many reference images on my second monitor. Blocking out the character, it's very important. Beginners will might be ignore this point. So guys, please keep that in mind. Blocking out the character is highly, highly important. After blocking out the character, move stuffs around, at some point we need more vertices to work with. That's why we're gonna remesh the torso using Blender Remesher. Shift R to change the voxel size, Ctrl R to remesh. To keep this video simple, I'm not going in depth with sculpting details like the brushes that I have used, etc, etc. Maybe we can create a sculpting tutorial series for beginners in the future. Enjoy the music, I will be back again. Once we have created the torso, we can save the file in a format compatible with 3D printers. But before that, let me adjustment some settings. We need to prepare the mesh for 3D printing. The first step, of course, we need to try to get the right height for the torso. In order to do that, click here, go to units. So I live in Germany. I do understand the metric system and I think everyone on the earth can understand the metric system because the invariant system it's definitely complicated for me that's why we're gonna stick with the metric system we're gonna go ahead and change the length from meters into centimeters as you see guys if you scale the torso we're gonna change the scale on the z-axis about five centimeters all right hit s to scale Keep your eyes on the z-axis because it's gonna be the height for the torso. In this case, we're gonna test it out about 5 cm on the z-axis. Okay, the next step, click here and go to statistic. We need to be careful with the polygon count. So over 1 million vertices, it's bad for 3D printing. A good vertices number, it's about a half million. Alright, to decrease the vertices number, we have to use the decimate modifier. Go to Modifiers, Add Modifier, Decimate Modifier. Okay, in this case, we're gonna turn on the geometry on the x-axis, change the ratio about 0.5. As you see, guys, we have sharp details and less vertices count. Okay, apply the Decimate Modifier. Go with Ctrl A, all transforms to reset the location rotation scale into default. Go to File, Export, STL. Turn on selection only and export the file as STL. All right, now we need to find a good 3D printer. I did a lot of Google search for 3D printers and I found a good one to buy. But before, let me explain something quickly. There are several types of 3D printing like FDM, SLA, etc, etc. FDM printer is the most widely used type of 3D printing at the customer level. FDM printers use a plastic filament 
it might be you have that seen before. SLA printer is much faster than the FDM printer. Okay, but what do you mean with SLA printing? SLA printers are much faster than FDM printers. Also, they have a wide selection of materials, extremely high future resolution, and quality surface finishes are possible with SLA. SLA printers use resin, so this resin bought into the machine as a liquid, and then it's hardened by using a UV light. Most resin which turned hard if you leave it in the sunlight. Okay, I decided to buy the Illigo Mars 3 Pro with the 4K resolution. But before we start, guys, I want to let you know that I bought this 3D printer and I want to test it out with you. So there are no sponsors for this video. I want to let you enjoy the unboxing and I will be back again. The Illigo Mars 3 Bro. Oh my god. I do have experience with Blender and with other softwares. But with 3D printing, this is my first time. I watched a 5 minute YouTube video and was up and running. The installation of the build plate on the Z axis was so easy. With 2 bolts on the build plate and 1 paper, I was able to get the 3D printers ready in 1 minute. I'm sorry guys if I go fast, but there are a lot of steps that we should follow along. Alright, the next step is finding a slicer software to work with. As usual, there are many slicer softwares that you can use to prepare your 3D models for printing. In my case, I'm gonna use the Lychee slicer. I think it's easy and simple to use, so I guess I'm gonna stick with it for now. As you see guys, I have no idea how can I use this software, so I need to watch a tutorial about that. I have been using Litchi Slicer for 50 minutes now, so in order to that, I'm not able to teach you anything about that because I'm a beginner too, maybe in the future. It's highly important to keep your 3D model in this space. And of course, in any slicer, you need to generate the supports for your 3D sculpting. So the 3D printer will print the model upside down. In order to do that, we need to add a lot of supports. And these supports are gonna hold your 3D model in the air. When we are done, we need to transfer the STL file into a USB stick. All right, it's time to face the truth. Let's print this bad boy to see the final result. As you see guys, this is insane. The Eligo Mars 3 Pro printed with no issues. So easy is that. With a carbon filter running on the top on, I had this running in my office and I could barely notice the smell. Guys, I'm so happy with this result. So to clean up the resin, I bought the Eligo Mercury Plus 2.0 2-in-1 wash and care machine. Wait a minute, should we do that? In my opinion, it's highly important if you are beginner too. In my opinion, it's gonna speed up your workflow. Also, it's gonna keep your work area very clean. So please keep that in mind, you can't touch and smell the resin. This is absolutely not good for your body. I wear all the time a face mask and gloves to keep me safe from resin. Safety is first, it's highly highly important for me and for all. It's good to know that we can wash the resin with water. The liquid for washing miniatures is recommended by isopropyl alcohol. At this point, it's not safe to touch the resin. That's why you need to put on a mask and to wear gloves. Look at that. This machine saves me work, time and space. I do like it. I'm speechless, guys. The fact is that I'm a 3D artist and I'm able to touch, feel and smell my art in the real life. This is for me the next level.
After all of that, I'm gonna give this torso a premium white color. At the end of the day, digital art is a real art, if you agree with me guys or not. This is my opinion. In my case, I can hold it also in my hand. Look at that. Okay guys, that was all about today's video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.